What I like to do is divide up the head, kind of where all the main curves happen. Welcome to today's class. Super excited to have you guys all here with me. I'm gonna show you guys a shorter haircut with this connection through the top. We're gonna to be cutting some with scissor, some precision cutting with scissor. Then we're gonna do some razoring on top as well. So we got the mannequin here, uh, nice long length hair. What we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna section it off real quick. I wanna keep the sectioning as simple as possible. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna comb the mannequin straight back and I'm gonna go straight down center back. What I like to do is divide up the head kind of where all the main curves happen. Split straight down center back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that division point. The division point is where the hairline extends from the crown. If you go to the crown of the head and you draw a line straight down, that's where we wanna go. But the reason we do that is because we're separating the different densities in the head. So now we've separated front and back, and so we've got side to side, uh, and then our top view straight down the center, and now we're gonna go straight down center back. All right, so now slight diagonal forward parting here. So now we've got our sectioning and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working horizontal. When you think about a horizontal haircut or a horizontal section being taken, a lot of you guys think about that as being heavier than a vertical section. What I want to share with you guys today is that's really all based on your elevation. So we tend to want to drop our hand down when we're cutting horizontally just because that's what you naturally want to do. Your hand wants to fall. When you cut vertically, your hand doesn't really want to shift or fall. So you get a much better control with your elevation. Today, I really want to go in and just cut this horizontally. I'm actually going to take these sections a little bit deeper. And now I'm going to cut this in my hand. So I'm going to start right in the center. So it's just gonna give me a little bit lighter line when the hair falls. Comb it. Now my next comb or my last comb will be underneath, bringing it to the point of elevation that I had on the previous section. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. If I'm elevating it too much, it's gonna really diffuse out that line. If I keep it low enough, see how the line starts to gather together? That's how you know that your guide is where it should be. So now I'm gonna continue up the head a little bit. Right here, I'll take about a half inch section. When you work horizontally, you don't wanna work too thick of a section. You know, you can see your guide through it really well. So my elevation just goes up just a little bit. And now I'm gonna point cut this line because I do want it precise and the precision can come from my finger angle and the elevation. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side here. Most important part is this up and down. It's too far down, it's gonna be heavy. Too far up, it's gonna be layered. So you gotta find that balance. So combing down, right? But then instead of only combing down, which is forcing this hair down, I wanna scoop the last section up and just give it a little extra elevation and then come in and point cut.
So now, what are we gonna do? How are we going to even make this softer and add texture to it? What I would like to do actually, I'm gonna do one more section because I wanna work my way up the head just a little bit more. Then once I get about here, then I'm gonna let this drop off. I'm actually gonna blow dry this bottom, smooth it out, let the wet hair drop over and soften it with a razor. I think that that's gonna be kind of our best bet for the look we're going for. We're gonna cut this using our point cutting technique, but then we're gonna go in with our razoring after. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna blow it dry. So now I'm just going to add a little iron work. So I work through here and I'll work now the base just at this very bottom part with a little more tension. So now I can pinch these little sections just like this and I can soften it. So this is my tri razor. Now what I wanna do is I wanna look at what length I wanna cut these pieces. Now just kind of work through, I'm softly, no pressure at all, cutting through this to let it kind of just lay over top of it. But now all of this is now the side section of my haircut. Now, if I wanted to add a little texture to this, I can go right through here and I can go 25 texture just to etch in some little areas. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this dry. I'm gonna use a little bit of Paul Mitchell sculpting foam. So when I get about 80% dry, you start to see it dry and frizzy. That's where your uh, hair's at at that point. I add a little bit of hot off the press. This is a Paul Mitchell styling product as well. Just adding a little spacing to the hair. So coming through here, sliding the scissor down, just adding a little space. Thank you guys so much for being a part of today's video. If you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go check out our online store, Shop FSE, and also go to freesaloneducation.com. Click on whatever phone you have to download our app. But let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this haircut. I will see you on the next video.